Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we'll learn how to use Terraform and Azure DevOps in order to deploy infrastructure into Microsoft Azure. In this CI/CD pipeline, we'll run the different Terraform commands like Terraform init, plan, and apply. And we know that sometimes there is no changes in the Terraform template. So in this case, it doesn't really make sense to run Terraform apply. So we'll see how we can optimize our pipeline in order to skip the step for Terraform uh, apply. So first we need to detect what are the changes that will be made by Terraform. And if we detect that there is no change actually, we'll go to add a flag onto the task that will perform Terraform apply in order to skip that task. This is important because we can reduce the machine build time. So we can reduce, um, we can save some money if we are purchasing those, uh, those build agents. So to start with, I want to show you a demo on how this works. So here I have the project already available on my GitHub uh, account here. So if you go to this link from here, you will find the YAML pipeline that I'll be showing you today. And also you'll find a sample uh, Terraform file main.tf. This one actually will try to deploy just simple resource group into Microsoft Azure. We'll take this as a sample uh, case. Then I want to use Azure DevOps. For that, I have already created a new project in Azure DevOps. And from here, I can go to my pipelines. So I select pipelines. And you will notice that I already have one pipeline that I'll show you later. But to create a new pipeline, you just go to click New Pipeline. And from here, you can uh, select either the classic or the new YAML pipelines. For me, I'll choose the uh, uh, GitHub YAML because my code is already on GitHub and they want to use the new configuration as code pipelines. I need to authenticate to my GitHub uh, repository. So for you, if you want to take this my, oh, my repository here, you can go to uh, clone it in your own uh, repository so that from your own Azure DevOps um, account, you can connect to your GitHub repository. After that, from here, I can choose my repository, which is this one here, Azure DevOps Pipeline Demo. And then I'll choose a starter pipeline. This will give me a sample YAML pipeline that I can start with. So this will set up the a trigger. So this will be triggered. My pipeline will be triggered each time I have a new commit or a new push on the master branch. Then the pipeline will run on a VM that is Ubuntu that uses the latest uh, version. Then uh, I have sample scripts here that will run my pipeline. I want to change this pipeline. This is not what I want to do. So what I want to do is to use the pipeline that I've already uh, used that is already available on GitHub. So from here, if you go to uh, the Racine to the root folder for, for this GitHub repo, you will find here this uh, expanded or this uh, uh, complete pipeline. I've already opened this pipeline from Azure DevOps. So in here, it will trigger on master, it will use Ubuntu latest, and here I've defined some variables that I'll be using in this pipeline. And then I'll set the, um, the different steps to run Terraform for this pipeline. So first of all here, I have started by adding the first step Terraform installer, which is already available. And if you look for the search tasks here, so if you, you don't see it, you can click on this uh, uh, link here, show assistant, and this will show you the different tasks available. So if I look for Terraform, then this will show me two Terraform tasks. So the, uh, the last one here is the Terraform tool installer. So all I need to do is just click on it and then I select the Terraform version that I want to run. For today, it is the V1226, the latest one. And then I just click Add and that will, uh, and Azure DevOps will generate the step for me using this visual editor and then it will inject it into my file. I've already added this, so I remove it. So after installing Terraform, because the build agent, it might not have Terraform installed. So I want to make sure that Terraform is installed and the right version of Terraform is installed. Maybe I'm using version 26 here and 
the agent have a null version. Sometimes that doesn't work. So I, I need to make sure I have the right version of Terraform installed. Once I have Terraform installed, now I'll move to the next part, which here I'll start to run the Terraform uh, commands. So first command I need to run with Terraform is init. And init will try to, uh, uh, to, to create or to, to download the different modules that will be uh, used and it will also try to save uh, or to set up the where to save the state we know with terraform when we run uh, the terraform plan command that will generate the state file that is uh, the current state of the uh, cloud configuration and that file we can either put it on our own machine or on the build machine or but in this case i might lose it so I want to put it in a persistent place, it's in a secure place. So for that case, I'm, I have chosen to save it into an Azure storage. So for that, from here, from my Azure subscription, I've created a new resource group dedicated for this uh, uh, case. I've called it resource group dash df state. And in here I have created a storage account. So if you look for the resources here, I have a storage account that I have created. And into this storage account, I've created a container. A container, it's like a storage space to save uh, 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 files. And in this container, I have here a file called TF state, or I have actually a container called uh, uh, TF state. And into this one, I'll have here the file that will be generated by Terraform. This was generated because I ran the pipeline earlier. So for that, you can see that file here. Coming back to our pipelines. So here I have configured that uh, uh, task to do exactly that. So again, here, if you look for Terraform to add that task, you will find that's the first task right here. So into this task, what I have done is that I've told it that I want to deploy um, I want to save my state into the Azure, into Microsoft Azure Cloud, or I want to deploy into Microsoft Azure Cloud. Other options include here AWS and GCP. And then here we have the commands that we can use with Terraform. First command, I select init, and you see here we have also plan, validate, and apply, and others. So in the configuration directory, I should put the, uh, the folder from which Azure DevOps can find my Terraform template. And in my case here, that's going to be the default working directory slash skip uh, uh, step. That's the name of my uh, folder. After that, I need to specify the Azure subscription. So here I've created a, a, a variable called subscription. And that's one of my variables right here to have the name of my subscription. Then I have created some other resource group, some other uh, variables like the resource group. This one will contain the resource group for to save my state file. And then the name of my uh, storage account. So my storage account here is the one that we have been seeing right here. So that's Terraform TF state skip and the name of my resource group as shown here. Then the name of the container and the name of the TF state. And we have another va variable that we'll see uh, its utility later. So now I'm connected to my Azure subscription and they can run the command Terraform init to download the modules and set up the configuration for Terraform to save the state into Azure uh, uh, blob container. After that, I'll go to run the next command, which is Terraform plan. And this one is the one that will generate the Terraform state. So again, I need to specify the working directory and they can configure that from here. And here I'm adding a command options, which is the out equal TF plan. This will save the new plan. So we have the state that contains the current configuration of uh, our infrastructure onto the cloud. But maybe if I change that configuration, that new configuration will be saved into this TF plan file that contains the changes to be, uh, uh, to be uh, made into my uh, Azure subscription. So I've saved that file into file called TF plan. And then I'll use that file from my uh, Terraform apply command. So from here on Terraform apply, I'll add 
the TF plan as command option. So this will run exactly the command Terraform apply TF plan. So this will deploy that uh, changes into my Azure subscription. Great, I have skipped a step here. So with what I have showed you here, we can um, uh, we can deploy our infrastructure into Azure and save the state into an Azure container. So the state will be always persisted there and we can use it in the next run to compare the new conf uh, Terraform configuration against that uh, uh, current state of my infrastructure. Sometimes it's not all the time that we will go to, to um, it's not in all the commits that will go to update our infrastructures because maybe in, uh, in our repository, we have also code for the application, uh, for the application, we have the application source code and developers will make lots, lots of commits, lots of pull requests. And not in all those pull requests, we have the changes in our Terraform templates. So sometimes it doesn't make sense to run Terraform apply command all the time. That will just consume the build agent time and that's useless actually. So what it would be better if you can detect this case where there is no change to be made to the Terraform uh, uh, template. And in that case, we can skip the Terraform apply command. That's what we are trying to do here with this task written in PowerShell. So what I've done here is that I have added a PowerShell uh, script and I've chosen to write the script into the task itself, not on, a not on a file. And the text or the content of this script is the following. So what I'm going to do here, first I'll go to, um, I'm trying to read the TF plan file because this file, we say, as we said, this one contains the changes that will be made by Terraform when we run Terraform apply. So in that file, we have actually a section that describes those changes. I can show you here, TF plan is actually, uh, we can see it as a JSON file. And in this file, we have here resource changes and then the change. And you can see here, there is a change with the action update. It means here that uh, with this plan, Terraform will try to update an existing resource. Some other changes could be also either adding, add, or delete a resource. So those are the three changes we want to watch in this TF plan file, the add, delete, and update. And actually that's exactly what I'm doing with my script here. So I'm trying to read that uh, uh, JSON file with um, Terraform show command dash JSON to, to read it as JSON. Then from here, I'm trying to access the actions, which is the section right here. So all of this is uh, actions. And then I will try to read the, uh, uh, the uh, change dot actions section. I mean here, I read exactly the values that will be written here. So if uh, uh, next time Terraform will try to delete and add, this will be some, something like this, add, create. And you see some other values could be no op, for example. So no op it means no operations. Terraform will not do anything here. So we'll go to watch for, we'll go to check if actions contains either create or delete or update. If that's the case here, I'll go to use, I'll go to use a, a variable in order to put its value into true. And that variable is called if any changes. That's the value, the variable that I have skipped here. By default, it's false. But one, once we de detect a change in the Terraform plan, we'll go to set that value into true. And that's what I am doing here with this uh, operation task set a variable. I'm setting the variable to true. That's the specific Azure DevOps uh, syntax for setting a variable in the pipeline. If that's not the case, just I'll show Mr. saying, hey, there is no changes, so no worries. So I'll be relying on this variable in order to enable or in order to run or skip the task that will run Terraform apply. So from here, I've added a condition and into this condition, I've 
uh, set it to be I set it the, the uh, variable any if if any uh, any if changes um, to true. So if that's true, this means there is a change. And this time it will go to run the terraform apply command. If it's false, there is no changes, then this task will be skipped. So let's uh, see this in action. Let's now go to run this pipeline. So for now, let's see in our uh, in my Azure subscription, I have already a resource group. Uh, if I go back to here, I have resource group test uh, tb, uh, tbd2. That's the resource group I'm trying to create with the uh, Terraform uh, template. So here, if I go to my Terraform file, the main tf that's what you can see here the name of this uh, uh, resource group now i go to change the name of this resource group to be tbd3 for example and then i'll go to commit this commit changes so that will trigger my pipeline and my pipeline have already started running so if i go here so here you can see the pipeline that have started right now. So here it detects that uh, resource group should be replaced by resource group TBD3. So that's the operation that Terraform needs to do. Now this task detect any Terraform change. This one will look for, will read the TF plan and it should detect that there is a change. So here Terraform will perform the following actions. So it detected that there is a change. For that, Terraform apply command here, it started. And if we look at here, you can see it really uh, uh, started and the configuration is valid. So here it's running Terraform uh, uh, apply. Great. So let's now test the other case where here uh, I'll go just to run this. So for now, I didn't make any change to my Terraform template. So in this case, it means that the Terraform apply command should not be triggered. So let's watch for it here. So here we see the message by Terraform that there is no changes. Infrastructure is already up to date. And now when we go to the task that will detect the changes, the task actually detected that there is no change will be made by Terraform and thus the, the task Terraform apply was skipped here. And the only message that I get is that the, uh, be, that was because the variable was set to uh, false. So that will skip my task and that will save me a lot of uh, precious seconds. So here th that will take less than uh, one second to run. Great. I've, um, I hope you have liked this uh, uh, video. Uh, watch me in the next uh, uh, videos to show you more tips about anything related to Microsoft Azure, DevOps, and containers. To my YouTube channel, where here I've, I am posting um, more videos about those different uh, uh, topics. So thank you.